Well, through our partnership with PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, we get the opportunity to highlight some local talent with stories told through the eyes of emerging journalists. This week, we are featuring a story produced by the students at Christopher Columbus High School in Miami. They introduce us to a familiar face for anyone who has spent time on Miami Beach. Robert Ravencraft has been running every day for the past 43 years on the beach and has amassed quite the dedicated following. For the past 43 years, Robert Ravencraft has run at this Miami beachfront. Songwriting. I'm a songwriter. It's what I've been doing since I was a teenager. You know, he's undergoing this tremendous creative explosion right now. You know, two, three songs a day. But the songwriting that brings Raven so much joy today is also what spurred his mission to begin running out of anger 13 years ago. In the beginning, when Raven first started running, it was all about processing the anger, the resentment. I uh, started my streak on January 1st, 1975. I was a songwriter in Nashville in 1970. Somebody got a hold of a song I wrote and it became a hit. I didn't get credit, came back here angry. And he started running as a way to deal with that raw emotion. I uh, made a vow January 1st, 75 to go eight miles a day and still going. It's who he is. It's, part, it's not just part of his identity. It's literally who he is. Ever since that day, Raven has run 127,000 miles, enough to wrap around the earth almost four times. And he's not letting even Mother Nature get in his way. Well, I was out here in Irma. It was 99 miles an hour. Got out to the sand, and uh, the wind spun me around. I sunk down three feet into the sand, and, uh, and then it blasted me in the face like pellets. And I, it was the first time I couldn't get out on the sand. Raven's determination to continue running is inspired through his fellow runners. 13 years I have not run alone since 2005. Well, obviously, the, my, the, my following is uh, healthy people come out to run, to work out. And uh, I don't have a family, so people coming out to run with me becomes my family, and I become their family. Well, I've known Raven almost 40 years now. I met him when I started working here as a lifeguard back in the late 70s. The Raven run, in I guess a few words, is halfway a social thing, halfway a physical thing, and you just have a good time while doing what you should be doing. And it's snowballed in a sense from there. As more people have joined, now he feels a deep obligation to everyone who might possibly run with him. I know people are waiting for me. I know people are going to be there. That motivates me, and then what I do, I motivate them. So it kind of works together. He will not stop. He's going to keep going, possibly until he falls dead on the run. Nothing's going to stop him. It, it will take an act of God to stop this man. For CCNN Live, I'm Chris Freund.